Hey guys, Spanish Heart 18 here, and welcome to another unboxing. And today I just got a package in from John Fichi, or who we may know him as a Bits Bale. And yeah, uh, I've been really looking forward to this uh, piece. I, I've just been thrilled to be able to deal with him. I love his work. And yeah, I got this in today, and uh, let's open it up. John actually finished this up, I think, on Sunday. And it came in, uh, today is Thursday. So it was pretty quick. Came in through USPS. And hopefully, it isn't damaged. This is, uh, this is exciting. Freaking amazing, holy shit. Wow, holy crap. This is my custom XM Phoenix head that was painted up by John. And um, I think it was sculpted by Giacinto Pacentia and commissioned by one of the local um, board members, uh, Mule. And I think he's part of Atlas Studios. And they sculpted the piece and they shipped it out to John. And he painted it up. And this looks fucking fantastic. Holy shit. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Just a beautiful job by, by John. Holy crap. I am utterly blown away. As you know, I had my gripes with the head sculpts for the XM Phoenix. Um, I did pick up the other custom sculpts that was sculpted by Troy McDevitt. And I seen this, or at least the, the painted copies online. And originally I wasn't going to get this. But uh, <laughs> I was just too tempted. It was just too hard to pass up. And yeah, I hit up um, Mule. And he put me on the list. And I hit up John as far as uh, um, painting this up. And I want to give a, a shout out to uh, Dechirico7 on the statue form boards. She helped me get in touch with John. And uh, yeah, just a really, really big thank you. And yeah, this is just an amazing, amazing custom head. Wow. I love how vibrant the, the eyes are, the lips, the subtle shading as far as like the, the makeup. Shit, I mean, John just killed it. Holy shit. And the, the hair, I wanted the, the look I was going for was um, kind of like the comic book look as far as like the, the 90s. Um, yeah, just uh, I remember like the cartoon when, um, when Phoenix was on there. I just remember her hair being just a, a bright 
orangey red. That was kind of the look I was going for. I didn't want the kind of like mahogany or almost auburn look like the other custom head I had. I didn't, that wasn't really my idea of jean. But yeah, I mean, John just killed it. Basically, I told John what I wanted. Now, I lighter tone for the hair. And I wanted this kind of like fiery, this fiery um, part of the hair. Basically, I just kind of wanted to tell the story where Jean was struggling with her, her powers and her humanity and trying to keep the Phoenix power in check. And it's a, like a constant struggle with her. And you know, you can see her like just slipping and just trying so hard to control her powers and her hold on to her humanity. And I wanted that, to capture that with the, the flame part kind of like um, lighting up. And yeah, this just really, really pops. I mean, I think he used uh, pearls. And yeah, it's just really detailed. And the eyes are just really, really beautiful. I mean, I've seen the, um, the video with the Jean Grey paint up. And I love the color of the eyes there. And I'm glad he used the same decals for it. The lips are just really... It has this really beautiful shade of pink. And again, the makeup is just really... I mean, it's subtle, but it's there. And the skin tone is just beautiful. It isn't that uh, kind of like ashen white that the other custom head I had. And uh, X, the original XM heads had as well. But yeah, it just looks really vibrant. And I love the shading that he used. This is coming off well in, on the camera because up close, I mean in person, <laughs> this is just mind-blowing. I am just so thrilled. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So here she is. Um, John did make a, a little modification. Um, the original magnets that were sent from the factory to him were were too small and too like uh, shallow, I guess. And I didn't really wanna, didn't really have a, a great hold as far as putting it on the statue. So he was kind enough to to drill it deeper and get a, a longer magnet. And so I, I think this envelope is for the magnet. So I'm just gonna probably cut the video and maybe put this on. So before putting this head on the XM Phoenix, I thought I'd compare the two custom heads. So this head is the head I got a few months ago, sculpted by Trey McDevitt and painted up by the factory. And as you can tell, the paint ups are, are night and day, <laughs> almost. Um, there's a lot more refinement with, um, with John's work. It's more artistry, more, well it's custom, right? customized to my to my liking and the factory I think they did a fair job with it but there's still some rough spots um, it isn't as refined um, they might, I heard they might have had um, trouble with some casting issues but this, this looks fine it looks really good but compared to the the new one yeah uh, there's just more refined, more beautiful, more vibrant. And I think the factory head didn't really do Troy's sculpt. Um, I, I don't think it really accentuated his sculpt as it should have. I mean, I would like, like to see uh, a custom painter to tackle this, the sculpt and see how it looks. Yeah, as you can see, you can see the, the hair. It's a lot more auburn and not as vibrant. Yeah, it just... Here's the tone. I don't think it really compares to John's work. And this is the original head. Yeah, I uh, wasn't really thrilled with this head. Um, 
but Exxon has, got, has come a long way. Uh, I consider this uh, a first generation, ge first generation sculpt. Their recent XM Catwoman looks really, really amazing. So they've come a long way. But yeah, this compared to the custom, it's a lot more masculine. And the features are more lifted. It reminds me kind of like the video games, as far as like the 3D graphics. Remember the was it Tekken? The Tekken One and Tekken Two. They were more blocky. <laughs> And then, with subsequent uh, versions, they refined uh, the artwork. And this looks kind of like that. This is the archer head. And both of the beautiful heads. But this one looks a bit too porcelain, porcelain dollish. Powered up Phoenix head with the low hairline. But yeah, I mean they're solid heads, but they, you know, frankly they can't compare. Um, yeah, back to the, the two customs. Um, basically, they they're almost the same price. But I liked how um, Yule organized his um, uh, his custom heads, as far as uh, getting it casted in the factory and then getting it shipped out to the painter that you picked. I mean, there was a, a painter's list that you could just pick from, and then they ship it there. And then more heads going to that painter will subsequently um, affect your shipping price. So with uh, I think John had like six, seven. Heads coming to him, so you know we we all paid like a really low shipping rate, so that was pretty cool. I think that's a really good idea. You know, with customs, just getting it made in the factory and then shipping out to your favorite painter instead of just uh, putting up with the factory job and hoping they nail it. Yeah, I mean, I think the McDevitt piece cost a bit more. But it was roughly almost the same. But you can see the difference in quality. Okay, so with that said, I'll glue this up with the magnet and put it on the Phoenix. So I finally managed to attach the magnet on the bottom of the head. So it's pretty secure right here. And I basically used the the page uh, super glue, but it's in a gel form. And I find that it's really easy to control, so there isn't much slop. Yeah, pick this up at any Home Depot or Walmart. So let's attach the head. So this is the XM Studios Phoenix with a custom head painted up by John P.G. and sculpted by Giacinto Batania. And wow, I am absolutely blown away by the quality. I mean, I love everything about it. I gave John um, a, certain, a certain look that I wanted. I basically wanted the, the bright, orangey red hair. And basically, I remember that from the 90s cartoon and from the comics that I was reading. I wasn't really, I'm not really a fan of the over hair, like, I guess recently, with the cold monogamy, kind of like almost the Auburn look. I mean, to me, Jean is a redhead, and a, a bright redhead. She's fiery, and yeah, that's the, the look I wanted. And yeah, he, he painted the, the pearls for the fire. It's, it's really, it really pops. I don't know what else to say. He just knocked it out of the park. He totally exceeded what I had in my head. And that's, you know, I, I can't say how he did it, but he did it. And Neil stated that um, for the resin, they used a translucent resin to mimic human skin. So it gives it certain like uh, a, a skin tone, a realistic skin tone. And yeah, I, I can see that. They modeled the sculpt after Lena Headey from Game of Thrones. And yeah, 
I can see it. And the sculpt, <laughs> it's just an amazing, amazing sculpt. I mean, it doesn't even compare with, uh, with the first generation sculpt that we had from XM. I mean, I know they got, they're getting better. I know they're, they've improved a lot, especially with their Catwoman and their Black Panther that they've shown. But, you know, you can't compete with this. This is just an amazing, amazing piece. And if you have the XM Phoenix, I highly recommend picking this up. I think Neil stated that uh, the edition size was around 125. So if you're interested in that, he might have extras. I'm not totally sure on that. But you can hit him up at Atlas Studios on Facebook. And yeah, hopefully hopefully you can be blown away by this and have it painted to how you want it. That's a good thing with customs. I mean, you don't have to settle with uh, the factory job that you get, you know, you're at the mercy of. You can basically, I mean, if you're not satisfied with it, just send your existing head. I mean, you don't have to get a custom head, but just send your existing head away and have it painted to how you want it. So yeah, um, as for uh, John, I highly recommend, um, you know, working with him. If you're not satisfied with anything you have, just, you know, contact him and let him know. Let him know what you think. And then if he likes it, then, you know, you can just collaborate and, and get a work of art like this. Um, you can see his work at Vince Bell Customs on YouTube. And basically, yeah, he does statue customization, um, re repaints, repairs, you name it. So yeah, if you like what you see, uh, hit up John at um, www.fichiillustration.com and his email is fichi at mac.com so yeah he comes with my highest recommendation I mean John you really really killed this buddy you really killed the, the paint I love it I more than love it I, I, this totally exceeds everything I've ever expected from this statue wow I'm just absolutely blown away So enough of my gushing. Um, with that said, I'm a thrilled Spanish Hardy team. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and putting up with my <laughs> with my gushing. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.